Hey, this is Vic JC, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Jungle Scout Keyword Scout, which is the keyword research tool by Jungle Scout to make sure that you find products that rank on page one for your Amazon FBA products. I've also got a coaching call or a mentorship call that I want to give away to you today. So make sure you watch this video so you know exactly what to do to win that. So if you haven't got Jungle Scout at the moment, make sure you use the link in the description that will get you some discounts and benefits when you're actually getting the Keyword Scout tool. Now the Keyword Scout tool only comes with the Jungle Scout web application. So make sure you head over here, you click on monthly billing and you pick the startup plan. It's the only plan you actually need. And what you will see is that Keyword Scout is included with the Jungle Scout web app startup plan. So make sure you check that out. So if you remember from the last couple of videos in this series with Jungle Scout, you would know that we were looking at the disposable plastic plates. Now in order to make sure that we can actually rank on page one for disposable plastic plates, we need to copy and paste disposable plastic plates from Amazon, and then we need to head over to the Jungle Scout web application. So on the left here, what you will see is a pullout bar. So you would pull this out over here and you'd select the keyword research tool over here, and select Keyword Scout. Now, the Keyword Scout is going to allow us to know whether this is going to be something difficult or really easy to rank for onto page one. So we just paste disposable plastic plates into this section over here and hit the search button. So there's two main things that I want to identify over here. On the left-hand side, you can see the keywords and just to the right of it, you can see the exact match search volume. This is the search volume for each individual keyword as pointed on your left. And what this search volume actually shows is the demand for these specific keywords. So as you can see here, for paper plates, there are 96,570 people every single month on Amazon searching for that specific keyword. They're searching for paper plates. Now the first step here is to make sure that we have enough demand, enough search volume to make sure that people are actually going to come to us and buy our product. Now don't forget, you'll end up ranking for multiple keywords and I'll talk through that in a minute. So what you're ideally looking for here is a search volume of ideally 5,000 and above. So everything on this page from here onwards is 5,000 and above and it's something that we want to go for because people are looking for this product and it's enough to start making some sales so long as we land on page one. And this is going to tell you exactly how you go about landing on page one and if you can get there. So let's take paper plates for example. So if we clicked on paper plates over here, it will search amazon.com for paper plates and it will show you all of the results. Now the next thing I want to show you, now don't forget the first thing is the demand is what I showed you. The next thing I want to show you is where is the competition? So we want to make sure that the demand is high and the competition is low. So as you can see here on the left hand side, you can see there are 3000 results. And that gives you the information on how many people are actually selling this product. Now it might not be the exact product, but it's what people are competing for, for this specific keyword. So that's really important to notice. So don't forget the demand is over here, the exact search volume, how many people are actually searching for it. And when you come over here, this is the competition. This is how many people are actually listing for paper plates. So what you could do is do a further analysis, run the Jungle Scout Chrome extension here. But what I want to identify is that we now have a search volume of 96,000 and we have a small results page of 3,000 results. Let's take a look at some more. So if we clicked on plastic silverware, what you will find is that there are 1,000 results and that's pretty low. So this is something that we could look at. The last one is also something that we could look at, paper plates, and it's something that we could really compete in. So you ideally want to make sure that this is above 5,000 and the higher the better. And you want to make sure this is below 10,000, ideally in the 5,000, 6,000 below range, so you can actually compete. The higher this is, the longer it will take you to get to first page. The higher that the demand is, the quicker that it will take you to get to first page. Now it's time for the coaching call competition. So if you want to win a coaching call or a mentorship call with me, in the comment section below, I want to hear from you, how is Amazon FBA going to change your life? What would an extra two, three, four, five, ten thousand $10,000 every single month actually do for you, your family, 
for yourself, what holidays you could go on, what could it actually do for you and how are you going to use the money. So make sure you comment that in the section below, make sure you subscribe to the channel and you hit the like button as well. I will be picking a winner next week. So let's continue to look at what other keywords we can see. So if we go for something like disposable plates, which has 16,000 uh, uh, search volume every single month, we can see that there are now 8,000 results. So which keyword would you start to go for? because these three have higher demand and then this one has a lower demand but with higher results. So you will find that it's much more difficult for you to rank for something like disposable plates. Now I said to you earlier that you would be ranking for multiple parts of these keywords. So let's take for example paper plates. Now let's type that into the top over here, paper plates. So these are the results for paper plates and as you can see there are various keywords one of which is the most common is plates. So what you essentially want to do is start ranking for keywords such as gold plastic plates if that's relevant to your product or Thanksgiving plates and napkins. Let's take that for example. So because generally this is a longer keyword and it's unlikely that people are typing this, um, you can see the search volume is lower. However, it'll be easier to rank for this keyword. So Let's take uh, Thanksgiving plates and napkins, for example, open this up and you'll see that there are only 1000 results. So it's easier to compete and get to first page and rank for this specific keyword so that you get sales and you start making some profit. What will happen is because you are ranking for Thanksgiving plates and you're ranking for plates and napkins and you're also ranking for plates, you will start to rank for words above this such as plates disposable and eventually Thanksgiving plates and eventually paper plates. So you'll be ranking for all of these words at the same time as ranking for this. So this is why I ideally start targeting the words here at the bottom to begin with, whilst in mind having these other words being targeted at the same time. So while you're targeting this keyword, you'll also start ranking for Thanksgiving plates and paper plates. And that's when you can move on to really start targeting Thanksgiving plates, plates and paper plates. And that's when you really start making your money. That's when the $10,000, $20,000 a month will really start kicking in and really start changing your life. So you can actually start expanding this business and grow it further and further. So if you want my free book on starting a business on Amazon FBA, make sure you click on the first link in the description. If you haven't seen the last two videos on Jungle Scout and product research, make sure you click the playlist that I've put in the screen for you and I'll also put it in the link below. I will see you in the next video.